最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。哦哦、当强烈的信念让命运都无言，浪漫成了特权，狂喜狂。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想的爱是深爱，想不尽的存在却无处不在。为痴爱到伤害，愿所爱,爱，黯然很多心海。感情一生挂怀，最无私的深爱是绝不要伤的。爱。Oh, but for this weekend, I've made plans. Then clear your schedule. So you are meeting with President Su? Wang Dehui took so many employees with him. When he left the company, you have done your best. Things became stable thanks to all your effort. But the board of directors still raised a lot of doubts recently. As you know, President Su occupies quite an influential position. And he's been very supportive of the Chung family for so long. That is why it's important that we keep this relationship with President Su, right? Yes, he has a good reputation. He's indeed a good ally to have in the business world. Hmm. President Su's daughter will be there this weekend as well. You've known each other since you were children. It's obvious how President Su adores her. I think it's a very good idea if you try to reconnect with her now. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Of course. Although... I don't think it's necessary. As we have agreed before, I'll return to Shifang Group. But I want to handle my personal life. <laughs> Last time, you didn't want to go to that date I arranged. Young people like you value your freedom so if you happen to have relationships on the side right now then I guess I'll just turn a blind eye but I have to tell you when the time comes for you to marry it's important that the girl that you choose is of equal social rank that way she'll be beneficial to your career <laughs> These are rules handed down from the old ancestors, so it means it's tried and tested, see? I know that. Yes, I do understand your point. But these are all ideologies. Here is my plan. Once Shifeng gets back on track, I will hire professional managers to help us run the group. Don't even think about doing that. How can we trust outsiders? I told you you're the only one our Chung family can rely on. Tianan is someone we can't count on. Look at him. The man can't even take care of himself. Tianan is good-natured and very clever. Grandpa, if you give him a chance, I'm sure you will see how good he has always been. I don't want to hear any more excuses. Let's just talk some other time. Please don't be angry. Anyway, it's true. I have plans for the weekend. If there's nothing else, I'll go now. Tianyu, here are the concert tickets that you wanted. The Little Sun is such a smash hit. I pulled all my strings to be able to get them for you. Thanks. Hey. So, you're back. Tianyu, how have you been? You look like you're in a good mood. 
Mm, to be honest, I feel great. I've been seeing a girl. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> Those are tickets, right? Wait. So you have time to go watch concerts now? <laughs> Someone asked a favor. Oh, it's time to go. Oh, I have to go now. I'll visit you soon. Hmm. Bye. Uncle. Don't you have school now? And don't you have work? My classes are already done. I come here to work after school every day. Take a break. For a concert this weekend. You can... go with... your classmate if you like. I can't go. I have work. And I have to study for the exams. Okay. Then I'll just throw these tickets away. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, why not give these two tickets to me now? Then I'll sell them. <laughs> I do wonder about the things you think about. Study very hard. Work very hard. Make lots of money. <laughs> Thanks. It's so early in the morning, and you're already up doing some schoolwork? Aren't you sleepy? I've been thinking. My brother got mad at me for a reason. Now I know I must put extra effort. I need to show my family that I'm capable of succeeding. <laughs> Listen up. You shouldn't pressure yourself too much. Relax a bit. See, you work part-time, look after the elderly as a volunteer, and also study very hard. You might get burned out. How can I stop? I have to study hard and try to get a high mark for each subject this semester and make my brother happy. Go to bed when you finish studying. I'll go back to sleep. All right. First. Hey, please compute this first. Oh, sure. Class, what do you think? 
Hi. You guys talk. I'm going to our next class. Bye-bye. Here I brought you lunch with your favorite drink. Oh. Please, eat a lot. I can see you're getting too skinny. If I want to eat, I can just go to the cafeteria. You don't have to bring me food. Come on. Am I a stranger to you? No. Anyway, how have you been? I'm okay. I went to your dorm a couple of days ago, but you weren't there. Where were you? Didn't I tell you before? I'm a grown-up. You just stay out of my business. You also have your own stuff to do. Didn't I also tell you? No matter how old you are, you will always be my little sister. Landscape design? Yes, it's a design competition. Look, there's a prize. Whoa. I've got the whole summer to draw. Of course I'll join. So you mean you're not going home? Hmm, no I won't. I really want to make something of myself and show off my achievements to my brother. Guess what? I have internship this summer, which means we can be here together. Really? That's <laughs> awesome. I thought I'd be here all alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jin Liang, is it okay if I borrow your cell phone? Uh. I want to call my mother. Of course. Thanks. So when are you coming home for the summer holidays? Uh, actually, I'm probably not going home. Not coming home? Why is that? You see, there's a contest I want to join. It's more convenient to prepare for it here since I can research easily. Also, I have my part-time job. Oh. Is your brother coming home? Brother? I suppose he is. Always take care of yourself there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you take care too. Yes. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Here. <laughs> I'm not gonna be alone. So you're not going home? Well, not this time. I have things to do. Liang Shang, don't worry about her. I promise I'll take care of her. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. But please, eat a lot. Take care of yourself. Don't worry. Zhangsheng isn't a child. You should eat more rice and meat. Always keep warm. It's cold now. Call us anytime. Let's go. Eat a lot. Zhongsheng, tell me, where are you taking me? Don't open your eyes yet. You'll find out when we get there. Wow! Do you think 
this place is beautiful? Mm-hmm. You know, brother, this is my favorite place in the whole of Wei Japing. Brother, do you also have flowers in the city? We have flower shops there. People have to buy flowers there? There are so many flowers here. Why do they need to buy? Do you know what I like the best? Have a guess. Braised pork? Apart from that, I really like flowers. I want to open a flower shop when I grow up. There. Zhang Sheng, you look so beautiful now. You think so? Mm hmm Zhang Shang! Zhang Shang! What's the matter? You're looking dazed. Here you go. I'm okay. I just thought of the flower fields at home. You're homesick. Then why didn't you go home with your brother? When we were young, my brother and I would go to the flower fields. He said in the city, flowers were only being sold in flower shops. That's why, ever since I was a young girl, I've always wanted to own a flower shop. Own a flower shop? <laughs> it's fine to buy flowers there, but for you to own one? Not a good plan. What do you mean? Uh how can boys give you flowers if you own the shop? They can't just buy them from your shop and then pass them to you. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> You're silly. Generally, flowers lose their source of nutrition once they're cut off from here, so we need to add a variety of nutrients to keep their colors very bright. Oh. You know, ma'am? Hmm? I heard that the water you use is important, too. It is. The pH must be preserved between 3.5 to 4.5. This can reduce microbial reproduction. Uh. Though in normal arrangements, we're not so fussy. Here, <laughs> it's your turn. Uh. Oh. Hello. Hi. What flowers do you like? Do you have freesias? So I did a rough background check on that girl, Zhang Shang. She's currently a freshman who's majoring in landscape design. She has good grades, and she is on a scholarship now. I learned her family is struggling in terms of money. This summer, she has two part-time jobs. She's an assistant at Yilin Flower Garden on some days, and then at... Hope you are well, Bar. She's a cashier. Young Xin is involved here? Interesting. Hey! Hi! I have a gift for you. My boss said she doesn't need this. Wow! Thank you! You're the first girl to give me flowers. <laughs> oh? Can you tell me who's the first boy then? I read from a book that girls like flowers, so I bought this bouquet for you. I'm not really sure if you'll like it. Uh, I do. I do. He's a boy with the warmest smile. Mm. I'll get a bottle to put them in. <laughs> they look so dainty. I didn't think that you'd work at a flower shop. So you're not working as a cashier at a bar anymore? I'll make more money working two jobs. Oh, do you remember my dream of running a flower shop and becoming a good florist? Well, someone is paying me while I learn. That in itself is a blessing to be appreciated. How can I not be happy? 
<laughs> You're so practical. <laughs> oh. oh, I'll get you a Band-Aid. It's fine. A rose thorn just oh. pricked my finger. It's nothing. Now, what if your wound gets infected? Let's put this on it. Here. I like flowers, but I know little about arranging them. My job there is teaching me so much. <sighs> hey, thanks. I've never seen someone who's thrilled with joy when her finger gets hurt. <laughs> You're making your design draft? Mm-hmm. A drawing for a contest needs to go through multiple revisions. I'm drawing in advance so I can be more at ease. I can't believe you're even busier now than when we had classes. <laughs> now don't touch the cut on your hand. No, I won't. You asked me to come here just to do this? Mm-hmm. We received an order for a hundred bouquets, but there's no one else here. All my classmates are on holiday. You're the only one I could think of. So is it... You could only think of me, or you only think of me. Hey, don't be so smug. Here. But why do you need a ball of wool? Don't you understand? This is art. Just insert it in, right? Mm-hmm. Aren't you already working as a cashier at the bar? We're on summer holiday. I want to work more jobs so I can make more money. If you go on like this, your health might suffer. Of course it won't. I'm in perfect health. Fine. Like this Hey, one. Uncle. Hmm? You helped me a whole lot today. If there's anything you need help with later on, just let me know. I'll definitely try to help you. You promise? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here. Take this. It's your pay for the day. Take it. So generous. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your tea. Thank you. Gernpa Chan, mm. I see that you like this kind of tea. My friend gave me some oolong tea. I'll bring it to you next time. Oh, really? Well, this kind of tea is really fragrant and unique. <laughs> Come on, how would I even know that? You're really knowledgeable. <laughs> I must say, your daughter would start really well. You shouldn't praise her. She's not as good as Chung Tian Yu. <laughs> Grandpa Chung? Yes? Is it okay if I make one small request? Mm, go ahead. Mm, it's just, every time I say Grandpa Chung to call you, it's so awkward. I thought maybe... Just Grandpa will do. Ah. <laughs> Don't be so impolite. <laughs> oh, Suman really loves being with Chen Yu since she was young. Mm. She never listens to what I say. Mm. But when it's Chen Yu speaking, it's like the Imperial Edict. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking if Suman can start mm. calling you informally then it means something <laughs> can i call you grandpa now all right grandpa also sounds more intimate <laughs> grandpa 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> good 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 <laughs> Hey you, why are you here? You told me you'll return the favor. Return what? 
<laughs> hey, hey, hey! Mm. Why are you dragging me? Wait. Oh, let go! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Wait! There, go in. Here. Come. <laughs> and it's time for payback. Let's go. Such a waste. Mm. <laughs> Don't you think it's frustrating? We're grown-ups here, but every time we meet, we would always fight like kids. It's embarrassing. I don't think it is, but you should be embarrassed. You see, Uncle, you're much older than me, so it's either just you or just me. But it will never become we, because there's a generation gap. Get it? A huge gap. Seems we just can't stop arguing. Hmm? You used we. Hey. Uncle, can we have another tub of ice cream later? Yes, we can. Hey, what did you do? You look so tired. Oh, hey, you're back. Could you please help me massage my muscles? Which part? Right here. Here? Here. I charge for my massage. <laughs> uh -huh. There. Chang Tianyo bossed me around the whole day. I can't feel my arms and my legs. I'm so exhausted. How dare he trample on the nash sweet flower? How can I be a flower? I'm just his housemaid. <sighs> Seriously, I spent the whole day cleaning his house. I'm so tired. I can't mm. believe you cleaned the whole day. He helped me arrange flowers. It's only fair to return the favor. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> I never knew you were so considerate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, tell me. When you're with Chung Ten Yo, are you hmm? happy? Hmm, let me think. When I was at his house, I felt relaxed, maybe even a little comfortable. You're certainly easy to please. That made you happy? I think you have a crush on Chang Tian Yo. Mm -mm. Hello, Ma. No, I didn't buy a cell phone. This isn't mine. So. How are you doing, Ma? <laughs> Is Dad at home, too? Oh, Ma, I'll be sending you money soon. Check your account, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just borrowed this phone. I can't talk too long. I'll hang up now. Take care of yourselves. Mm.
Thank you so much, ma'am. Oh, are you done? Mm -hmm. You can talk longer. No, it's fine. Mm. Oh, hold on. Someone came looking for you earlier today. To see me? Mm -hmm. Who was it? I'm not sure. He said he's your friend. Since you weren't here, he just bought flowers and left. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I'll get to work now. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chung, President Chung is currently attending a meeting now. Oh. Where did the flowers come from? Oh, President Chung bought them earlier, sir. Okay, go on with your work. All right. Aren't these flowers gorgeous, Mr. Wang? Yes, they are. Who would he value more? Would it be me or would it be that girl? She can't compare with you. Mr. Wang, if he had to choose between us, do you think that my brother would choose me? Of course he'll choose you. Your brother loves you. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Hey, brother. Hmm? There's this girl that I met. Where did you meet? In the school's library. And then? That day, my blanket just fell on the floor. When I reached for it, she picked it up gently for me and covered my legs with it. She wasn't scared by my legs at all. Does she sound nice? She does seem like a very kind girl. Look, I really like her a lot. It's just, I feel frightened that my condition somehow bothers her. You really shouldn't presume anything. Try to get to know her better and just always be yourself when you're together. I'm very sure she will appreciate you. Just give it a try. That's what I thought too. So, tell me a bit about her. She's a... a... freshman. She has long hair, nice and soft. She has a carefree attitude. You know, I also noticed she often has a band-aid on her leg. What? <laughs> I hope she's not hiding something. <laughs> There were so many people. I'm so tired from standing. <sighs> Let's go. You're here. Mm hmm. I worked until late last night. I got locked out of the dorm. Luckily, I could stay here. Oh, I'm so tired from the trip. Here, I have a grapefruit for you. A grapefruit? <sighs> wow. Did you carry it all the way here from Wei Japing? What are you talking about? <sighs> because our hometown is not the only place where grapefruits can grow, you know. <sighs> Let me tell you, I was so bored there. Because you weren't there with us. Your brother sat at the Clearwater Bridge the whole time he was there. I felt bad just seeing him looking so sad. Ugh. You know, he was waiting for you to visit. Why didn't you come home for just even a few days? I don't know what's happening here, but neither will give in. Stinky durian meets stinky tofu. <sighs> here. 
You really can be so annoying. Mmm, it's sweet. Right, your brother always buys the best. Of course he does. <laughs> I still remember, you were a straight-A student when you were still here. Am I right? And now I am prouder than ever of you. After so many years, you are still caring for your alma mater, which is so rare. <laughs> I'm flattered. The school is dear and special to me. Mm. Hey, what about this? Maybe you could give a lecture. I heard you studied abroad for quite a few years, and that you run your own company. Hm. You must have a lot of valuable experiences. Please give a talk to your schoolmates, huh? Sometime soon. Huh, I really hope that this school can produce more outstanding people like you. Sure. It'll be my honor. Oh, great. I will make the arrangements. Yes. And also, I will update you soon. Of course. Oh, do you still remember the warm winter society? I do. <laughs> Actually, you yourself founded it when you were still a student. Do you know that it's still very active now? I know. Actually, I'm here to talk about the Warm Winter Society. Here's the thing. I would really like to work with a school to set up a Warm Winter Charity Fund. The foundation will start in the school and we'll promote it all over town to get funding. And with the help of this money, we can recruit more college students to help old people. Oh, good. That is a great idea. I really like it. <laughs> oh, don't worry now. I'll tell the person in charge to get in touch with Thanks. you. Thanks. So you can meet and discuss Thank your plan. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <sighs> School is about to start, so you won't be bored. Well, how can I not be bored? Liang Shang spent his whole vacation at his hometown. Long holidays are very rare. It's normal for him to go visit his parents. Yeah, I know. I know that I made Liang Shang very upset. But I don't get why he has to ignore me like this. Because you did something wrong. But all I wanted was for him to care about me. And to give me attention. I didn't know things would end up like this. Listen to me, Wei Yang. You need to apologize. Apologize? That's too hard. I still have my pride, you know. If you choose to save face rather than do what is right, I promise you'll lose more than you'll gain. It'll never be worth it. Zhang Shang! Zhang Shang! Zhang Shang! Why are you always avoiding me? Didn't I already learn my lesson? I don't want to suffer anymore. <sighs> Zhang Shang, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. I put you in harm's way. Please don't be mad at me anymore. It was my intense jealousy that got the better of me. I just really like Liang Shang very much. My heart was also in pain, seeing how badly he was hurt. Zhang Shang, I was born into a loving family where everyone pampers me. I know I did something that really hurt you, and also Liang Shang, but I'm not really as bad a person as you think. Could you please forgive me? Actually, you don't have to explain anything to me. Liang Shang was feeling so guilty throughout the holiday. He regretted being so mean to you. I don't want to see him so upset anymore. So could you promise me that you'll stop being mad at him? Pretty please? <laughs> I guess I'll take that as a yes. Well then, let's get to class now. We don't want to be late.
为你有的纷乱和惨烈，多美的诗篇。最孤独的少年，露出最幸福的欢颜，坚持要用一生的体贴，说一份感谢。我是火焰，烧起了冷冽，粉身打造温暖的世界。听你许的愿，帮你去实现，想象不息，挚爱不眠。我是蓝天，驱散了云烟，只留晴空，吞染了风雪，让你闻花香。生不息，比永远更永远我轻声呵护你入眠，你想飞，我安静不埋怨，单纯你视线。爱无需在身边，距离会被真心穿越。我愿意愿成一万残月，成全你喜悦。Chen Yu, look at this. I know this company. I did business with them back in Silicon Valley. But why did they sue Shifang for patent infringement? I believe that someone is stirring up trouble on purpose. The only person I can think of who has the motive is Wang Dehui. Excuse me, sir. It's almost time. We have to go. Yes. Don't worry too much. I will be back in a day or two. I'll make sure this is settled. You of 最孤独的少年，露出最幸福的欢颜，坚持要用一生的体贴，说一份感谢。我是火焰，烧起了冷冽，粉身打造温暖的世界。实现生生不息，挚爱不眠。我是蓝天，驱散了云烟，只留晴空，吞染了风雪。让你闻花香，为你扫落叶，生生不息，比永远更。许不是牵手带你到终点，而是该放手送你去转泪点。我是火焰，烧起了冷冽，粉身打造温暖的世界。听你许的愿，帮你去实现，生生不息，挚爱不眠。我是蓝天，驱散了云烟，只留晴空，吞染了风雪。让你闻花香，为你扫落叶，生生不息，比永远。